So my Nigerian friend Babatunde was showing me this game, which many of you will recognise as a variant of Mankala. This particular game is called Ayu, and it has its own rules, which are kind of hard to figure out just by watching, because the play here is so fast. Now I've never played any variety of Mancala, so this was an exciting opportunity to learn something, but first I would need a board, so I set about making one. I started with a piece of reclaimed pallet wood from the Southampton Wood Recycling Project. There's a link in the video description, I think this is Douglas Fir. I cut it in half to make it more manageable, then ran it through my planer a few times to clean it up and square it off. I'm not targeting any specific dimensions here, we're just going to make this mostly by eye. I measured out six centres along the length of the timber and drilled right through with a force a bit. I did this with both boards clamped together so that the holes on the two boards would match exactly. Even though I used a backing piece of scrap timber, there was still a little bit of breakout where the drill bits came out of the timber. But that's fine, because the cylindrical holes in the timber will need to be turned into dishes, which I did by running my router around them with a cove bit. The cove bit has a bearing on it that needs a lip of timber to run on, so I couldn't make the dishes go all the way to the bottom. But we'll deal with that in a moment. After the router, I ran the pieces through the planer again to remove some of that lip, but also to slim them down so the board that I make wouldn't be too heavy. I applied PVA glue to the boards and clamped them together so that the bottom of the dished holes now had a backing piece. When the glue was dry, I used a spoon carving gouge to remove that last bit of lip ridge from the bottom of the dishes. Now, it might look like my hand is at risk from this tool, but it really isn't. Don't let the camera fool you. The significant force applied here is downwards into the timber. I trimmed the two pieces to their final size. I cut off a small piece of the front corner of each section just to make it obvious where the box would open. Then I ran my router around the top and bottom using a roundover bit.
Then there was lots of sanding, my least favourite part of any woodworking job. And especially here as it included a lot of fingertip pressure to sand inside the dishes. I whipped the boards with a rag to drive off any fine dust trapped in the grain. Then I applied several generous coats of Danish oil. Finally I got a pair of small hinges and a catch and fitted these to make the two halves close in sort of clamshell fashion. Now we need some playing pieces for the board so that's the perfect excuse for a quick trip to the beach. Eva had just had her claws trimmed so this was also good for her as digging in the sand smooths off the clipped ends of her claws. I found a very nice selection of different coloured small pebbles to add to my board, four for each hole. And now we're ready to play. Except at this point I still don't know how to play. And actually what I'm going to do here is direct you to Babatunde's video, which is on his own channel, Africa Every Day, where he will explain the basic rules of play. Jenny and I are both completely novice newcomers to this game, so it's great to play and learn together. And we're already feeling our way through some of the strategies, because whilst this is a game with simple rules, there is some complexity in the development of offensive and defensive tactics. So that's how I made my IU board. For more details on basic gameplay, don't forget to visit Babatunde's channel, link in the description and card. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.